All right, so we do come to the uh, wrap here, and I'm going to take about less than five minutes to provide a quick update to everybody who has been who have been listening. Uh, again, a reminder to everybody that you know open source is really to reshape industries and their value chain, and everybody benefits. So keep that in mind. The standards and open source work hand in hand. Uh, and we are becoming even more collaborative, right? As I call re-aggregation of, of projects and industries and, and standards. Um, and we announced it. Uh, please take a look at all of these projects, the press release, as well as, you know, welcome new members. Um, a quick reminder, there are a couple of webinars and, and uh, uh, an event coming up. So there's a a webinar on network operating system or NASIS. One of them is DENT. Uh, so please join that. Uh, it's on April 26th. And then there is uh, the developer and testing forum in uh, Portugal. And this is live. If you can travel, I think we are expecting to be face to face in Portugal. And the most important thing um, at the end of the year for our fall event, we will be in person in Seattle, Washington, uh, and we are planning for an in-person open networking at summit in Asia next year. Uh, and, you know, we're looking at uh, planning already. So just keep in mind, and, you know, these are very, very important events and hope you have uh, picked up a lot of things. Okay, so with that, we wrap up day two. Uh, day three is tomorrow. It starts 7 a.m. Pacific, uh, so I think it's, a, it's in the nighttime, early night. Uh, we will have uh, standards bodies, NGMN, GSMA. We have several enterprise customers, cloud, um, and several of our vendor partners. And we have a very good panel on open source that our own uh, CTO for, for networking and edge, Rani, would lead. Uh, so stay tuned and please join us tomorrow. And with that, Thank you very much. Have a great day or a good evening.